Nigel with Husky Loops here in the Blade Factory in Liverpool, who are about to take the stage. How are you guys feeling? Looking forward? Woo! Yes. Yes. Really <laughs> yes, forward. I am. What's your name? My name yeah. is Louise. Louise, good yeah. name. Thank good you. Name. I didn't choose it, but my parents did, so well done, parents. Good for you. Yes. <laughs> I'm so excited to catch you guys live. It's going to be my first time. I'm oh, buzzing great. for it, which is really nice. So how do you find, like, playing over Because you guys are from Bologna in Italy, aren't you, like, originally? Yeah. So how do you find kind of playing over here in, like, the UK, and how does it differ from the scene over there? Uh, two mics. Um, <laughs> oh, my God. It's, it's great. I mean, we really, we are both from London. Yes. As in, we are from Bologna originally, but we never played in Bologna. Oh, really? um, every time we go there, it kind of feels like it feels like a home show, but it also feels like we're going to play a show abroad. If you know what I mean? Yeah. So like, it's much it feels more much more like home to just play in the United Kingdom yeah. than Bologna. Because how did you find coming over here and stuff and kind of building a fan base in London? Because it's such a big place. Did you find it quite difficult at the start? Yeah, I mean, yeah, you, yeah. yeah. You play a lot of rubbish shows. <laughs> yeah. And then you get there. Yeah. Yeah. Do you remember the first kids. venue you ever played? Kids, them kids. Do you remember the first venue you ever played? I think it was his house. Oh, really? <laughs> was it a good gig? He used to organise parties in his no house. Way. Oh. It was really good fun. I lived in a warehouse in North East London. Did you charge people to come in? Uh, no, it was donation. Ah, oh, donation, yeah. just everyone could just yeah, join yeah. in. Just, just to, like you know, charging. count towards yeah, the expenses. Basically like charging. Well, fair basically play. like charging. <laughs> You know, running a good party has some costs. You know, yeah, you know it does. Yeah. True. The damage, the damage can be done. So you need to like yeah. put a thing it's on that. It's very hardcore. Yes. Yeah. It's gotta be. <laughs> party on. I'm laughing because um, a fat guy <laughs> destroyed your pedal board. No way. Yeah. Well, yeah, he jumped on it. Oh no. But it was I, part I, of the, the point. The point really wasn't it. It's not that he was fat. It's just that he jumped. Yeah, I don't know why. I mean, being being fat helps. <laughs> I guess yeah. the weight just yeah. completely obliterated it. That's yeah. not good. Guitars, yeah. you know. Yeah. I remember drinks on our guitars. And mm, stuff. Yeah. It's a no go. That was the atmosphere, but it was fun. Yeah. At the end, it's all rock and roll, isn't it? It it's is. All, yeah. It's all fun. You've got to make yeah. some mess, haven't you? Otherwise, it's not it's not for rock and roll, is it? But Great. you guys have toured with the likes of Sunflower Bean and like Placebo. So how was it kind of playing? Because they're very different bands to play alongside. So how did you find like playing with those different crowds and audiences? Specifically, Sunflower Bean and Placebo. Oh, yeah. Well, Two opposites. It was a very Sunflower Bean were, yeah. were playing at the Bruna in Leeds. Yeah. And we, Placebo, we played Brixton Academy. Wow. Yeah. So I think that's yeah. the main difference. Yeah. Um, both lovely people. Yeah. Yeah. Did you find that the crowd adapted to you guys quite well? Were some of them like a lot of new ears, or do you reckon a few of them had like heard the Sun, you guys Sunflower before? Bean Tour was the first ever tour we've ever done. Oh, wow. So it was a very good experience for us. It felt big, you know, because yes. we never played any kind of venues before around the country. It and was then, great. Yeah. 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 We jumped on a, a 300 pound train because we were late. Oh, no. Yeah. 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 Actually, no, we weren't late. No. We found out about that tour the day before. Literally, they called and they us were like, oh, yeah, the day before. Get to the <laughs> oh my god! Like, How? Yeah. Hey, how much? Is it? 300 pounds. Oh my god, we can't. Oh, yes, do it. <laughs> and here you were. Yeah. That's like, big. but I think I love the way your sound is crafted, and that's something that I first track I came to you guys was tempo, and I love the sounds in that. And when it's on headphones, it gives me goosebumps, like the way it goes through and stuff, and it's really nice. Oh, no problem. It is like honestly, I, you guys are. I'm so excited to catch you live and how you kind of portray them live. So when you're kind of like recording them, because you've produced a lot of the tracks haven't you yourself I've really tempo, yeah. that's amazing so how does it go down in the studio kind of like it must be quite nice for you to have the whole control of the track you know and I love it and you love it, love it. <laughs> yeah. um, it's it's mostly live yeah that's our thing in the studio now as well yeah um, so really it's up to the band to make it sound good yeah not really up to me yeah, that is good. But I think it's nice because you all obviously musically fit really nicely as well and it seems like a really nice thing. So how did you kind of become like, you know, making music together? How did it kind of form? Um, okay, well, we started jamming, I think, something like uh, <coughs> two or three years ago now. And it was just this nebulous period in which we were all in other bands and, yeah. and bands were shaping really every two or three months. Yeah. Um, and we were working on some music and, and we released some and... And that was kind of a turning point for us because we released it. We were doing a lot of the classic shit kicks we were mentioning earlier in London yeah. scene. And we were like, we need to step up our game in terms of what's the sound, what we're doing, how unique it is. Yeah. And, uh, and I think that the training, the education that we did was really helping. And, and the, 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 the people that we were working with really helped as well. Definitely. And, uh, and we released our first single as, as this project, as Ski Loops, uh, that uh, at the beginning of 2016. 
uh, really put in the, the most effort we ever put in producing a track ourselves, making all the art ourselves, yeah. yeah. and we're really being self-critical and try to do the best we could, and and that gave us a little bit of, of traction because it was picked up by Noisy US. Yes. And so that, yeah. that was the first moment, and then we went on from there. Definitely, and you because visually your videos are awesome. Girl who wants to travel the world, I was captivated by that. I just love the way it's shot. It's amazing. Thank you. Thank but then you've you got like the parking for our flat. Oh, is it? Yeah, yeah. Is that literally in front. Amazing. amazing. Yeah. And how, like, what were you filming it with? Because obviously, like, it has the. Did you edit it so it had the black kind of ring around it and yeah. stuff? So it's like yeah. a, a spy was, hole. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It was. It was part of the concept from from the start, really. Yeah. It was like the whole idea of it feeling a bit voyeuristic but fun. Yeah. Um, yeah. So. I love that video as well. Yeah. We gathered yeah. all of our friends. They came around for like a party, basically. You know, m most of these videos have been done with really minimal budget. Yeah. You know, so I think the best videos. We're though. Really, really trying mm. to. I agree. Yeah. Really, really, really trying to, you know, do something special with that. I think the track "Dead," like the video for that, really amplifies it. I think like the way it's just shot is amazing, and it really like goes with all the sounds and the music, and it's really, really cool. Thank you. And Thank you. I, I, your lyrics are really intricate as well. I really like them because I think I read that um, you kind of like write from memories, and you kind of pen them down as soon as they kind yeah. of happen and things like that. So, how does it kind of come first? Does so the music come first and the lyrics afterwards? Um, the lyrics comes first. Yeah. But. I mean, actually, I don't know, you know, is I write, I have a book, I just write lots of stuff in there. Yeah. And then I kind of match what I want to match emotionally to the music I write. But it never happens at the same time. No. I think that's nice, but... The only example, no, when I come home, I think the only song I've ever written that was lyrics and music at the same time. Yeah. yeah. But I think your music pushes boundaries, and that's what I like. It's dark, and it's raw, and it's eerie, and I think that's what's like the coolest thing about you guys is. Good. And um, EP2 seemed quite more experimental than your first EP, so yeah. was that kind of different going? Because you recorded that in Italy as well, didn't you? And it sounded very picturesque where it was, so when you were kind of making those sounds and coming back outside, it was a bit bizarre, having that, that kind of like dark music and coming yeah, into yeah, like yeah. a really pretty environment. That definitely shaped the music. Yeah. You know, every single room shapes what you do. In yeah. A way, unconsciously, but yeah. I think I think that the situation with that studio was that we we are really a London band because we rehearsed and, and played, especially at the time of that EP, mostly in London. So yeah. the songs were already so written, so ready yeah. before we went into the studio. Yeah. That when we went into the studio, it was just nice to be removed from anything else. You know? Yeah. So, yeah. Um, it wasn't, I don't think that the environment there influenced us so much on those specific songs because they were really written already, the idea was really formed. Yes, yeah. But we were really focused on, on the recording process because yeah. we didn't have anything around, the yes. phones weren't working that well, yeah. it was like... Yeah. Was really that, that's, cool. that's what the studio, the Mushroom Studio is amazing at because you, you can just, you know, you lose yourself in the process, like you can work late at night, uh, it's amazing. Yeah, yeah. No, yeah. no really time restrictions or anything, so just... That's yeah. like good food and good music. Yeah. yeah, that's it. That's all you need in life. Good food, good yeah. music. That's the motto for everybody to follow. Record, yeah, record Red Red. was the best recording. Yes, yeah. As in process. Yeah. yeah. We were, this is very geeky, we were running this base for a, for a since a Pfizer. Yeah. I can't say that word. <laughs> They're going to just loop that and forever. And we were pissed. Yeah. 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 And, <laughs> and we were drinking the yeah. yeah. It was amazing though. It was just like, you know, as he said, we had all the time and we were just experimenting with that. It was great. Yeah, and they've come out so nice because some of the bass lines are lovely and they do resonate through your ears really nicely. Thank and I think, like, yeah, I bet live is going to be mint and I'm so excited to catch you guys. Live is sharper. Like, yes. I mean, yeah. I like the fact that our record sounds. I'm sure a lot of people disagree, but I'm, I'm happy that our record sounds softer. I like very colourful, like, mellow productions and yes. stuff that sounds good and doesn't hurt. Yes. And then yeah. you can always turn it up and it becomes violent anyway. Yeah. I think live is much more angular, you'll oh, see. Yeah. No, we'll it's a bit more, oh my god! <laughs> <laughs> so are we going to be like, oh my god! Is that yeah. what I'm going to react like? Okay. That's the point, what isn't it? It, it is, of course. You want to see a band and go, oh yeah. Okay. Yeah. You want to be like, oh my god, exactly. you do. You can buy a T-shirt then. All the merch. All the merch. And I, I love reading about you guys as well. I was kind of reading previous interviews that you've done. But one of my favourite quotes was, um, "Rock and roll should be about innovation and changing what you don't like around you." And I really like that because it's so true. And yeah. I think you were kind of relating to kind of music and bands that are kind of following suit with other bands and things. And I think that is so true. And what you're doing is that you are like really going well, and pushing you, the boundaries. And really you can hear that really. Through. I mean, that's, that's, that's what rock and roll did to me. So you yeah. Know. That's not really us that said that. I mean, it's 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 all comes from from really famous quote of, of Bowie. I mean, yeah. When he talks about how why he got into music is to be a rebel, you know. Of that, course. That's, that's he's just so fucking up yeah. there. Like yeah. It's, it's, 
but in, you know, in, 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 in the musical landscape in which we're in, in which there isn't that much innovation in rock music yeah. and, in, and in guitar bands or the, the, the instruments that we play, yeah. it's kind of a, a duty to, I mean, it's not really a duty, but it's, it's just what is interesting to do. Of course. You know? yeah. Otherwise, you would be a cover band and get paid in a pub well, this instead of being skint in yeah. a really cool <laughs> festival. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. yeah, exactly. Well, wh- when I come home, that's been out a while now as well. How do you feel like that's come down with everyone? Um, I don't know. <laughs> it's been okay. Uh, yeah, it's been. A, I mean, it's been great. It yeah. Got, yeah, yeah. It's, been, it's, it's yeah. out. Yeah, I yeah. really enjoyed it. And like, so, yeah. what's next for you guys? What have you got coming up? What's like next on the horizon? What are you going on behind the scenes? Things. I love so things. much. There's so many secrets. Yeah, so many, secrets. So many secrets. Yeah, there. secrets. Secrets. <laughs> I mean, you can you can expect us to not do the expectable, really. Okay. As in, as in, we, we yeah. So much wow. interesting, yeah. Yeah. weird yeah. stuff coming out. So I, I yeah. am personally excited. Very cool. Yeah. Well, watch this space. Sounds very exciting. Thank you so much for chatting to me, guys. Thank now, just before we go, cool. I have a little bit of a Liverpool quick fire that I've been doing with the bands, yeah. and uh, it's kind of based on whichever band you choose at the start. Okay, so I'm going to give you the Beatles, the Lars, or Echo and the Bunny Men. The Beatles. The Beatles. The Beatles. The Beatles. Yeah, you got to go Beatles. Like the okay. Man. Okay, this is going to be a quick fire, and you. (laughs) Okay, so would you rather have a cup of tea with John or Paul? John. 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 Why is that? Paul. 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 No, it's John. No, John. John. We're going with John. We're going with John. Which song describes your life? Long and winding road or twist and shout? Long Long and winding road. road. (laughs) (laughs) Would you rather cover "Come Together" or "Don't Let Me Down"? Don't let me down. I mean, I'd like to come with you. Yeah. What? Maybe that would be awkward. Come together. It's conflict. Yeah. What Beatles song, either when they're solo or in the Beatles, would you wish you'd written? Maybe I'm amazed. Oh, that's good. That's good. That's not a Beatles Tricky. song, is it? Well, it's solo. Or oh, solo. Solo, solo yeah. So you could do either. Mother. Oh, cool. He's good. Mm. People go straight to Imagine um, normally. God is a concept. What's the name of God? God. God. Oh, I like these guys. That would be really good. You should People put that said into. Imagine. Yeah. Well, to be fair, they would be millionaires. Yeah, yeah, yeah so. true. So it's a trick there. <laughs> and finally, if you could go back to the 60s and record one of your tracks in a Beatles style, what track would you like to take? Uh, Fighting myself. I know, I know yeah. one of our tracks. Yeah, one of yeah, your so tracks. So I do. I would do. I would do. Recollect. Like yeah. tomorrow never knows. Ooh, oh, that's look cool. at that. Bam. I, I can take that. Right, okay, yeah. yeah. We're going to all agree with that one. Well, that's good. Watch this space. Maybe you could do it just for Watch fun. Watch this space. Watch this space. Yes. Well, guys, thank you so much for chatting to me today. And Pleasure best of luck tonight. You. I'm really excited to catch you live as well. It's been really good. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you. Cheers. Thank you.